guys and welcome back to Plating It With Wendy, where I share with you recipes which impress with ease. As part of our Valentine series, we're going to be making the most decadent Italian dessert for two. Yes, the tiramisu. Fun fact about tiramisu, it actually means pick me up. This dessert is prepared by dipping biscuit in espresso coffee and then layering it with a silky smooth custard made with mascarpone cheese and a dusting of cocoa powder. If you enjoy watching my videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm excited, so now let's get started. For this recipe, we're going to be using four shots of espresso. And espresso really helps bring out the deep coffee flavor in the dessert. However, if you want, you can use any dark coffee of your choice. To the espresso, we're going to add one tablespoon of sugar, four tablespoons or quarter cup of Marcella wine. This is the sweet Marcella wine. You can even use Amaretto or Kalua or even rum, any alcohol of your choice actually. But I just like the flavor of the Marcella wine. Now I'm going to give this a good stir and then we're going to keep it aside till it cools while we work on the custard. Since we're making tiramisu just for two, I'm going to be using just two egg yolks and I'm putting it on top of a pot of simmering hot water. This is a heat proof bowl. And to that, I'm going to be adding three tablespoons of white granulated sugar. Now with a whisk, I'm going to keep stirring it up so that the eggs and the sugar get nicely incorporated and the sugar dissolves. Now you'll find that the egg has turned a lovely pale color. And if you touch the egg mixture, you'll find that the sugar has all dissolved. Now it's time to take it off the heat. When you take the egg yolks off the double boiler, you're going to want to wait for a little while till the bowl cools down because if you add the mascarpone cheese directly into the hot bowl, it's just going to melt down on you. To the egg yolks, I'm now going to add one cup of chilled mascarpone cheese. Now we're going to mix the mascarpone cheese with the egg yolks till it's smooth and creamy. If you don't have mascarpone cheese with you and you want to use Philadelphia cream cheese, you can do that, but I would suggest adding a little bit of whipping cream and a little bit of butter to make the texture more like mascarpone cheese. I'll give the exact measurements in the description below. To this we're going to add another two tablespoons of the Marcello wine and give it a good mix. Now we're going to keep this aside and whip up our whipping cream. As always, I like to use a chill bowl to whip up the whipping cream. And I've got one cup of whipping cream in the bowl. I'm now going to add a dash of vanilla and gradually increase the speed of the mixer. This is exactly how we want the cream to look. We're now going to gently fold in the whipped cream into the egg and mascarpone mixture. You're going to do this very gently because you don't want to deplete the cream. Once the cream has got well incorporated, we are going to now beat up our egg whites. We are now going to whisk up two egg whites till we reach stiff peaks. And the best way to get the stiff peaks is by using a very clean whisk and also a clean bowl. Make sure that there's no grease to the whisk. The only way to know whether you've reached stiff peak stage is by toppling the bowl over your head and counting till three. If it doesn't fall down, you've got it right. That's one, two, three. Now we're going to incorporate the egg white into the cream mixture. Adding the stiff egg white is optional, but I like adding it because I find that it makes the custard very light. And that's 
how the custard is going to look. Now to the second best part of a tiramisu is the assembling of it. The best part of course being eating it. Now we're going to be layering it with the custard and with these lady fingers. If these are not available wherever you live, you can always use a sponge cake and cut it into pieces of this size and then put it into your oven to toast up a little bit. So I've gone ahead and cut the lady fingers to fit into the glasses that I'm going to be using because we're doing individual serves. I'm going to use an ice cream scoop now to put the custard into the glass. And then we're going to dip the biscuit into the coffee mixture that we had made earlier. And we're going to dip it for just two seconds and out because we don't want to over dip it. It will just disintegrate. And then we're going to place it on top of the cream. Now we're going to put another layer of the custard on top of the biscuits. And then another layer of the biscuit. You should have at least two layers of the biscuits when making tiramisu. Now we're going to add one more layer of the custard on top of it. We're now going to smoothen the top. I'm now going to put a plastic wrap on these and refrigerate them. They should be refrigerated for at least six hours and if you can resist them, then eight hours would be the best. If you triple the recipe, you can make many more individual servings or you can even make it family style in a 9 by 13 dish. If you make it in a bigger dish, you're going to have to refrigerate it for at least 24 hours before you can dig into it. When you're ready to serve the tiramisu, you're going to dust some cocoa powder on top of it. Don't dust cocoa powder before you put the tiramisu in the fridge to set. Because the fridge being humid, it will make the cocoa powder very damp and turn bitter. I hope you give this recipe a try because I'm sure this tiramisu is going to make your Valentine's love you even more. Subscribe and hit on the bell icon to get a notification every time I upload a new video. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram. The information is in the description below. I told you I was excited, so now I'm going to give this a taste. was delicious. Thanks for watching. See you soon.